As we mark this occasion, we pay solemn tribute to the men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice to make our communities a safer place to raise our families. We also honor their family and friends and all of the police officers who have had to close out the locker of a trusted comrade. Our keynote speaker for today is Cheryl Stahl Chamberlain. 15 years, seven months, and 27 days ago, I was welcomed into a group which no one wants to be a part of. I am a surviving family member, a surviving spouse. September 20th, 1997, at about 2 o'clock a.m., I was awakened by the ringing of the doorbell in our home. Two friends in uniform were at the door, and in an instant, my life was flung into a world of change. My mark was gone, taken by the senseless and felonious act of two thugs. I had numerous difficult things ahead of me, but the single most difficult thing I have ever had to do is to tell my two daughters that they would not be seeing their daddy, their hero, their knight in shining armor again. But he went home to be with heaven and is with Jesus now walking the streets of gold. I'm not really sure what a three-year-old and six-year-old can understand of that. But as time went on and their daddy did not come home, they understood enough. Time does not heal all wounds. However, it does give you the opportunity to learn how to live with those wounds. I believe I have been given choices. The choices to be a bitter person or a better person. The choice to wallow in self-pity or to find a new normal. What I have learned about police officers, I learned from my mark. He was a man of integrity. He would go above and beyond the call of duty to help the citizens of his city out. He was a man of honor. He meant what he said and he followed through with his commitments. Every job he did, he did as unto the Lord. He was loyal to our God, and he would go to church every Sunday, even though he had worked the graveyard shift the night before. He was loyal to our family. He took side jobs just to make ends meet. And he was loyal to his friends. He was never too busy to help someone out, whether it was going to the mountains to chop a cord of wood, fixing a car, helping someone move, or just being a good listener. He was a peacemaker. He is respectful to others, including those he would incarcerate. He sought justice and was a man of dignity. Thank you. Thank you to all the people who have made this annual memorial possible. Developing this beautiful space, organizing and putting together the candlelight vigils and this memorial ceremony every year. I know an immense amount of time and effort go into all of this, and I, as a surviving family member, believe there are no words to adequately describe the heartfelt gratitude that I have for all of you that have made this happen over the years. To the state of Idaho, to the city of Boise, and to my Boise police family, thank you for choosing to honor and remember Mark in the many beautiful ways that you have. I pray that all law enforcement agencies do the same for their family members. Thank you. Mark Arlen Stahl, Boise Police Department, September 20th, 1997. Mark, ready! 